I'm going to walk you through just the chord steps uh, that we have on the Pasacalia by Lili. And this is just for the project that we have coming up. Uh, so let me just jet over to the score here. And in the continuo part, you have that G note, right? So that's this one. That's your D string fifth fret, right? Then you're gonna land a bar, and you just wanna get the G string and the B string. So you get a B flat on the G string on the third fret, and then you get a D on the B string if it's in tune, right? Continuing on. So you make a bar on the third fret for your G minor chord. You're going to not necessarily play the first string, or you could. Uh, you just want to try to stay away from the first string. So you start on your D string, right, with that G, and then your bar grabs the B flat and the D that you need for that G minor chord, right? And then the rhythm is almost two chords per measure, right? One, two, three, right? Then you have an F major chord, three, two, one, D string, G string, B string. And then immediately you turn it on to a D minor chord in first inversion. F, A, D, right? So it works this way. One, two, three, right? So you actually hit this time three times. So one, two, three. And then you actually have an E flat in the bottom, first fret of the D string. And you have your seventh right there with the D on the B string, right? So it's one, three, two, so you move from the first beat, and then you have, again, on the third position, right? You have D, G, B flat, and you turn that into a dominant chord, right? So it's G minor here, right? So it's D, G, B flat. And then you just make the D be the root of chord. Two, one, all you have to do is keep three where it is from this beat and that pinky right below it. Fifth string, fourth string, G string. So it goes like this. So. drop D or your sixth string. Then you actually have it in the lower octave. Later on in the piece, instead of having the G here, the root is here, you just basically do it on your sixth string if you drop D it down, because it's a D, whatever you do in the fourth string is going to work on the sixth string, right? So you just do everything in the lower octave. So if I were to just do that, I mean, I'm playing on my seventh string here for a D, but you would of course have it You're gonna to have to get yourself over here for it. And then you're again on a D here, but you again you can get that D here. E either uh, open in this in this case, right? And then you're back over. Okay? Hopefully this helps.